New this morning, the Coast Guard now suspending their search for the six people missing from the bridge collapse in Baltimore. Now, it's now more than 24 hours since that cargo ship crashed, and according to the Coast Guard, it has gone from rescue to recover. ABC's Perry Russum has those details. This morning, the Coast Guard suspending its search for the missing in Baltimore's Patapsco River. We do not believe that we're going to find any of these individuals still alive. Rescue crews have been looking for six people in the mangled metal of Key Bridge, brought down by a cargo ship early Tuesday morning. A Brawner Builders work crew was doing bridge maintenance work on the surface of that bridge at that time. Six of our workers lost their lives and one was seriously injured. Moments before the collision, it appears black smoke was rising from the ship as the lights on board went out. Hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. Maryland Governor Westmore says the crew on board notified authorities they lost power. I'm thankful for the folks who, who once, the, you know, once the warning came up and once notification came up uh, that there was a mayday, who literally by being able to stop cars, from coming over the bridge, uh, these people are heroes. The NTSB says the ship called Dolly is nearly 1,000 feet long, weighing 95,000 tons. I do not know of a bridge that has been constructed to withstand a direct impact from a vessel of this size. ABC News obtaining records showing Dolly was inspected in June. Issues were found with propulsion and auxiliary machinery concerning gauges and thermometers. President Biden says he will move heaven and hell to rebuild the bridge and reopen the port of Baltimore a major transportation corridor. It's my intention that federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge, and I expect to, the Congress to support my effort. Investigators say they are planning on going on the ship at some point to investigate what happened that could happen today. We are still waiting to learn the names and the stories of those who were killed. Perry Russell, ABC News, Baltimore.